Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Steery Sims. And can you guess where we are? We are at Natalie Greenhouse's, or excuse me, Greenheart's new organic produce store, Sprouted. She intends for this to be a cafe, a store, a whole bunch of different things, so you'd be amazed. As you can tell, we are exactly at zero, zero funds. <laughs> That's just how, and we've barely got anything done. That's just the way of setting up a business. But Natalie has gotten all the fresh produce that she had in her inventory packaged. It's not the cheapest thing. Each crate is about $550 since it, hey, you know, it's organic produce. That stuff isn't cheap. But the highly educated Sims of Ladesia certainly have enough money to pay for it. Not to mention all the townies who will come and buy it just because it's a Ladesia store. Uh, we are going to open up in just a minute, and real quick I'm going to give you a little tour of the store. I'm still not sure if I'm happy with how it looks on the outside. I really am not, to be honest. But I'm still playing around with like what wallpaper and windows I might use, and that we ran out of funds. So expect some like uh, refurbishing as we go on. Up top up here we have the green roofing that is part of the Green Roof Initiative, so all of Ladesia's buildings and stores and homes are required to have the Green Roof Initiative. There's some cabbages growing up top. I plan on adding a lot more as time goes on. Natalie's big on the Green Roof Initiative. There's a little bathroom up here as well as where the kitchen will be so she can make all of those mouth-watering meals that she'll start selling pretty soon. And downstairs, pretty sparse still, but we've got some area to sell the salads and the fresh meals that she's going to make, as well as hopefully just enough area for a tiny cafe. Over here, we've got where she, the cash register, where she's going to be running the store from, earning all that money. Over here, we've just got some decorative items to show off that, yeah, there's a lot of great produce here. I might set some of them for sale, because why not, even if they're not edible. Down here, going up the spiral stairway, we have quite a few cute little plants. I love these plants. Like I said in one of Natalie's other live streams, they're from Garden of Shadows. I'm going to see if I can remember who the creator is. No, I don't want the staircase. This one. There we go. Yeah, everything's red because we have zero money. Chimiracle. And Nymphy worked on these two, apparently. Or just kind of Miracle, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're just, oh, they're so cute. They're just adorable. Milk cartons and little teacups and boots. Totally what Nat Natalie would do. And outside here, we've got the main star of the show, the produce. Set out in this nice little garden that she has arranged. Uh, I, I love that I had some of the extracted uh, fruits and veggies so that it doesn't look too tidy. I don't think Natalie would be the tidiest, so there's some like cucumbers and berries. Well, and, excuse me, those are ooh, and berries just kind of scattered around the crates because that's totally the way it looks at the farmer's market. And also hiding down here is a bullfrog! We should give him a name. Someone come up with a cool name for the bullfrog and then that'll be his name for forever after. But yeah, this is the very first day that she's run the store. Other than packaging the produce, she hasn't done anything else. Produce is pretty expensive, so we're going to try to sell some of it and see what happens. Because hopefully once she gets some of it sold, and we'll open the business and see if we can attract anybody, we can afford <laughs> to, you know, actually buy some kitchen appliances for the kitchen or somewhere for her to sit. She's pretty hungry right now, but we're just going to have to deal with it until someone shows up. Let's see, what could you work on? Man, we're like completely out of money, so we're just going to let her jump rope. She's like, I don't want to jump rope in here, there's not a lot of space. But yeah, mostly we just have to kind of sit and wait for someone to show up. Hey, there we go, it's Johnny Smith! Johnny! How are you doing? Hmm? She's like, ah, oh, my first customer. Wouldn't you like to buy some fresh strawberries, Johnny? Have peace with that girlfriend I hear you've got, Sky Muffin. Don't know if they're going steady yet, but man, the way those two are looking at each other, I really wouldn't be surprised if they did. 
Let's have her show some of the strawberries to Johnny. After a little chat. So she can butter them up. Yeah, for those of you wondering how I got uh, these... The strawberries and the beans and the cucumbers and everything to be where they are. But also, uh, kind of funky angles. I used some old MSPs and stuck them on there. Oh, hey, Fro Cat just showed up. She's another one of the townies. They're both townies here. I don't know if they can actually, like... Yes, they can! So even when it's on the OMSP, they can still look at the items. Alright, so let's have her go down. Basic sale! It's raining outside, but it's always raining here. It's good for the garden, at least. I don't know if we have any playable shoppers that are going to show up just yet. I have to exit the game and make sure that I have Pescado's no playable shoppers removed. Because I do want playable shoppers. That's the whole point. I used to be scared of what Jessa from the Jessa channel calls an integrated economy, but now I'm realizing just how much fun it is. I used to be like, oh, I don't want my sims to blow all their money at like the car dealership. But why not? Because sometimes people make impulsive decisions and it's not like they can't sell those cars back. Get at least a portion of their, their money back. What are you looking at, Miss Cat? Are you looking at the beans? We're just gonna have her keep when she's gonna be talking about and I tell you what my organic produce is good because of this and it's good because of that. Natalie does not have any uh, like salesperson skills yet. Now that guy needs new hair, new name. <laughs> Ooh, she got the cucumbers. I think we know her. Do we know her? Not well. Yeah, you really don't want to drop appreciating unless you know a sim well, I'm finding. So that could be $500 in our pocket in just a second. Have them chit chat for a little bit while the boys are deciding if they want to. Oops, don't think that worked. She's like a little bit bored. Yes, Johnny! Good boy, Johnny. I think those strawberries would come in useful for your girlfriend. Let's see if we can steal the deal. Get those pole beans sold. It is a real pity that I can't get them sold to... Oh, yes! Yay! Why don't you joke with there? So we're standing out in the rain. You've got some cucumbers in your bag. I'll make an awesome salad. Out of this world salad. I'm promising it. Absolutely certain of it. Oop. Time to check him out. But first we want to make sure that... Johnny's really thinking about buying lost strawberries. I'm thinking that he's buying those strawberries because his, his pseudo-girlfriend, almost girlfriend, Sky Muffin, uh, really loves baking. And she's probably going to bake some awesome strawberry cake with that. Oh man, just the idea is making my tummy growl. Like strawberry cake! Oh, stop fussing, girly girl. I'll move everything then. <laughs> She's like, this is in my way! And I can fix that if I had any money. Which, I don't. <laughs> With a walkthrough block. Which is one of my favorite tools, especially on small one-by-one -one lots like this, where I need uh, some wiggle room. I just adore having man wouldn't it be awesome if we had, had more stuff to sell to him i just adore having um those walkthrough blocks and everything else in place so that i can decorate in really tight areas like the omsps i use to decorate up the stairs to utilize the stairs uh as well as the omsps i use to decorate on the counter because it just fills it up and i think natalie would really be one of those People who would try to be economical as possible with her space. And speaking of economics, Mr. Murray Robinson, we just got our very first Simulonian. This is definitely a picture worthy moment, even though her hand just shot through the cash register. It's raining. Wow, Johnny is really stocking up on strawberries. I'm still going to make him give some of them to Sky. 
Look at that, our first Simulonian. Yay! Is she smiling? She isn't more confused. This business stuff is harder than it looks, isn't it, baby? But we're we've gotten going. And our beloved Natalie. Stay there because it looks like he's coming back. We're gonna have to close the store soon because really all she had to sell was what she showed off right there. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier to sell meals than it will be to sell crates of produce because we can get more out of the produce by making it into meals than we can by packing it up in the crates and selling it. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, the cucumbers just get sold individually. I know, she sucks at the badge thing, or at the cells. You know, it never took me that long to learn a cash register when I worked retail. But, I don't know. Maybe that's not Natalie's strong point. Though she does have full logic points that she rolled randomly. And apparently that makes her very attractive to several of the members of the community. A vast dog of mine. I don't want to play with squeaky toy right now. Take it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm surrounded by children and puppies and- Oh! Look who it is! Agnes, we so need to sell you the last thing of strawberries. We'll have to take care of this, this person who's gonna try to steal the strawberries, but... Oh, is she gonna stop the rain for us? I better take a picture, because she's just so cool. She's like, I'll stop the rain. Be awesome. I swear, she plans on taking Natalie under her wing. There's the tree houses in the distance. Ooh, we can get a good picture without any interference. There we go. Oops. That's arched just a bit more. Doesn't that look totally awesome, though? It looks like she's casting a spell on Natalie's shop. Ah, dude with his... There we go. I just didn't want his cells and her in there. And in fact, she is. She cast it so that the rain stopped. I love that witch. She's just so cool. Go on. Help your customer. She's like, oh, are you looking for something yummy and delicious? I totally have the right thing for you. Some produce right over here. Oh, sweet! Our customer star! And then... Ah, the cat! Natalie, watch out! Don't touch it! Also, give her a friendly hug, because she's awesome. Oh, I don't know if you should touch her now. She got tons of butterflies. This is nice and pretty. Lots of butterflies. Stay away, kitty. They're like best, best friends. Okay. See if we can get him away from the strawberries, because I want to sell them to Agnes. So she can have delicious strawberries for whatever potions and spells she wants to cast. Alright, that didn't work to get him away from the strawberries. And I can't really tell him. Oh, bye, Angus. We'll just give you free strawberries then. Since you're so cool. Hang on. Seal the deal right here. Cause... Ooh, and actually we have enough money that we can start. Let's get a kitchen being built. Let's see. There we go. Let's start working on a kitchen. Let's do it old style, like she has at her house, where it looks like she totally raided some farm person's kitchen. Let's see. This one! Why not? Maybe this one? 
I don't know, it's really tiny. <laughs> the whole area is just really tiny. I think maybe not the white. Cheetah did the white uh there we go. Her house. Isn't that cool? We sold a few things of produce and now we actually have like for an expensive amount, because come on. It was really hard to grow all that stuff. I don't the clashing colors. Probably gonna get rid of that window. So let's stay with Isn't it amazing how long decorating can take? Like, I have literally devoted hours to trying to figure out just the most basic of decoration sometimes. Let's see. <laughs> you know what I need? I need that stove that goes on top of counters so she can make soup and stuff. No, not that one. There's one that's really cool that's floating around. I just- it's like a totally trashed. When did I download that? That's one of those things where I wake up and I'm like, I was on a download spree last night. I'm not quite sure what happened. <laughs> You're just like, man, I'm kind of hungover from downloading things I don't even remember. Let's see. Not the cowpoke. Whoa, nope, too big. Too weird. Um, that's a girl. <laughs> you guys are not helping me with this. What stuff did I have her use back at her house? Certainly not just something that simple. It was probably this woodland stove. Let's see. Hmm. Colors. Yeah, we'll just do this. It sinks into the wall, though, and I'm picky. Yay, the counter worked. No, the window was in the way. <laughs> I knew I was going to get rid of that window eventually, anyway. Wait. What if I do it that way? Yeah? Yeah? How does it look outside? Oh, hey, there's the witch. Decent. I want to get rid of that window now. Decent, decent. Kind of silly. It's like a little meter medieval tavern, but you know I can deal with it. Put another. Whoa! Nope, nope. Never mind. I was just joking. Haha. <laughs> that window can stay. That's why Natalie never has any money. <laughs> I tend to forget to watch her funds. I'm just like, oh, items. Let's put this here. Let's put that there. And then she's out of money. Sorry, Natalie. We'll leave those decorative items there. So now we've got some room to make some meals. But before she can make meals to sell, she needs to have enough money to buy the refrigerated counters. Because the refrigerated counters, and I'm sure that there's probably some remakes of them, but I just haven't seen them yet, uh, are what allow her... There's Frel Cat again. The refrigerated counters allow her to sell food without it spoiling. And it would be a big waste to have her make all that food and then it just, like, goes wrong. Oh hey, she can network! Awesome! I love networking. It just provides, like... Oh, now it's raining again. <laughs> provides some fun little benefits. Oh cool! Now she gets auto-promotion when she goes in to work. That's pretty neat. I was thinking about keeping her, even though she has this as her her business, I was thinking about keeping her employed uh, as an artist so that she can get um, way better. Let's have Kimberly check out, show item to Kimberly. The last thing of strawberries. I was thinking about keeping her in the art track so that she can get the camera. Because I think getting that antique camera career reward it would be something up Natalie's street. She'd take pictures of flowers and produce and the view from her from her little store around town. Yeah, I know you're starving and you're tired, but if you don't like it, you guys can leave. 
They're just like admiring the scenery. They're like, wow, it's quite pretty. It's a joke. I like to spice up because I used to be a commission salesperson at a pet store. <laughs> and luckily I was in love with the job because of the animals and the amazing people I had the opportunity to work with because otherwise it is not worth it, I promise you. But I learned, uh, and man, in a pet store, you, you don't, like, I don't lie to people anyway, but you learn how to... I mean, at a pet store, there, someone's dog is never going to hurt for having another treat, especially if you have a variety of treat that uh, doesn't make them sick. Come on! But I learned that you make friends with the people you sell to. You don't just, like, yes them. You really ask them real questions about their lives, and you just, you relax and have fun. You work on sales a little bit, yeah, because your job is to educate them about hopefully making a purchase. But you also make sure that you're friendly to them. You just cheer them on. Uh, you laugh with them. Why did I lose money? Get out of my fridge! That is uncalled for, sir. You just cost me money. I'm not happy. I'm now putting up a fence right here. As soon as we have enough money, there's a fence going up. Natalie, sweetie. She loves splashing on puddles. She just- Oh! We're all done! Alright! She's buying your last strawberries. What a successful first day. That's just so cool. I have a dream that one day Sprouted will be able to grow to the extent where she can make like one area completely a cafe. And we'd use Lot Adjuster and have her buy this, like, this lot over here on this side of the street. And one area would totally be just where the produce and other goods are sold. Like a little garden. That would be so fun, but when Natalie can barely keep a penny between her fingers, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to achieve this. It's going to take some hard work. But you know what? Today's hard work paid off very well. Now... We are going... Jerks. Stealing food. Where'd you get meat? This is a produce store. And all those things aren't in Natalie's diet, so... Meanie genies. Go away, store's closed. <laughs> well, he did buy our very first item, so maybe I shouldn't be so harsh. Alright, now where are... I can never find these blasted things. The refrigerated units. Not there, but they're on the display. See? Dried things hiding from me. Okay, let's see. Sometimes I can find it if I come in here. So I know it's like kind of expensive. Hangs out in the back. I love having 14 gigabytes of custom content. And my game only taking usually 20 minutes to load. Have a good day. <laughs> you know, when it's behaving. It only takes about 20 minutes to load, but man. It's really a game of. Ah, there it is. There we go. Why is it marked as a custom item? I don't know. But. Yeah, that one matches. Oh, we were only able to afford one of them. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so Natalie has been able to get quite a bit done in her store. Uh, she sold all of her produce, so she's going to have to restock her produce, go and harvest the garden quite a bit more, expand the garden, obviously, because if we sell out of produce that quick, I mean, mm, we have to step up production. So she's probably going to have to continue to hire on um, her assistants. And right now her main assistant is Cecilia, is that her name? Where is that girl? Yeah, Cecilia Watson, whose face is just messed up down there. But it has been a successful, fantastic first day at Sprouted for Natalie. I'm very excited for her. She has her very first little Simulonian. We'll hang her right there so that she can see it when she's in the store cooking and stuff. She may hire help. She may just go it her on her own for a while. 
but the building is built, the store is available, and we can now send Sims here once we get it stocked again so that they can purchase some awesome produce. Alright, so we will see you guys on the next episode of Series Sims. I hope you have a great night. Um, ooh, my factoid for tonight is going to be... Oh, you guys have to know about Bowerbirds. Like, everyone knows about Bowerbirds right now. Right? I mean, now, right? There we go. <laughs> Bowerbirds are these amazing birds in New Zealand who go around and they, like, collect things. Like, if we were a bowerbird and we decided we were, like, red things, we would collect all these strawberries and put them outside of the little uh, woven hut that we use as our display area. They leave huts out of grass, depending on the type of bowerbird. And we collect all the strawberries. Oh, and then there's these awesome pink and red flowers, so we collect all of those. And maybe some of those flowers. And if there was, like, you know, some red bottle caps, we'd collect all of those. Ooh, and those tomatoes. So we'd be a bowerbird who had red things, and maybe we added a little bit of variety, like some of the purple grapes or pole beans. And they just make piles to attract females of different collections. I just think that's so cool. And our eccentric collectors, probably definitely Natalie, and definitely uh, Inya Stocking, who we haven't messed with too much yet. But there's your little factoid of the day. Bower birds, totally awesome. Look them up. They're one of my favorite animals in the whole world. And thank you for joining us at Scary Sims with Sims and Science. Wrapped up in storytelling. We'll see you next time.